Hi, boys and girls. Sorry about the math lesson. I really tried hard, but I just couldn't get it together. There were too many problems with technology. Um, so we're going to end with a science lesson, and here it is. The title is, Where Does Energy Come From? Now, I'm going to read this to you, and then at the end, I'm going to ask you some questions that you're going to have to answer from listening to the story. Um, the answers will be multiple choice, so you will need to fill out your notebook like with the title, Where Does Energy Come From? Put your name and the date and your number on it, like we always do, and then number it to five, because there will be five questions. Ready to listen? Here you go. It's pretty interesting. It's a very interesting article. Here we go. Where does energy come from? When you got, got up for school this morning, online school, you probably got dressed, ate breakfast. This required energy. In fact, everything you do requires energy, from tying your shoes to lifting your spoon. Actually, everything that happens anywhere in the universe requires energy. Right now, I'm low on energy. I bet your parents are too. People get energy from food, so I'm going to go eat something shortly. The food we eat gets its energy from plants, and plants get their energy from the sun. So the energy you used to tie your shoes this morning originally came from the sun. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. Plants absorb light energy from the sun and change it into chemical energy that is stored in their stems, leaves, and fruit. This process is called photosynthesis. Big word. When people or animals eat plants, they absorb the plant's chemical energy and store some of it in their own bodies. Our bodies use this energy to breathe, think, pump blood, bled, and move our muscles. Consider a typical breakfast of cereal, milk, and orange juice. Cereal is usually made of wheat, corn, or oats, which are all plants that get their energy from the sun. Milk comes from cows, which use the energy they get from eating grass to make milk. Oranges come from trees, which store the sun's energy in their fruit. Even chocolate, my personal favorite, which is made from the beans of the cocoa plant, gets its energy from the sun. The sun also provides almost all the energy we use for fuel and electricity. Fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas are made from prehistoric plants that have been buried inside the earth from thousands of years ago. Probably about the time, you know, he was around. Oh, no, wait, that's the future. Never mind. Okay. These fuels are used to spin generators that power plants, power cars, and machinery, and heat our homes. Even renewable forms of energy, such as water and wind power, come from the sun, which is the source for all the weather on the planet Earth. Okay, here's your questions. Number one, how do people get energy to do work? A, by absorbing sunlight. B, by growing plants. C, by eating food. Or D, by burning coal and oil. Number two, where does most of the energy we use originally come from? A. Plants. B. Electrical generators. C. The sun. Or D. Photosynthesis. Number three. Which of the following gets energy from the sun? A. Cows. B. People. C. Plants. D, all of the above. That means all of them. Number four, what kind of energy do plants store? A, light energy. B, 
chemical energy, C, heat energy, or D, food energy. Number five. Which of the following is not a true statement? A, plants get their energy from fuel. B, energy cannot be created. C, the sun is the source of all the weather on earth. Or D, fossil fuels are made from prehistoric plants. Remember, this is asking which of the following is not a true statement. And this concludes your day of learning. Make sure that you write neatly in your notebook so I can read it. Those letters A, B, C. How about you just make them in capital letters, okay? All right. I'll tell you the answers for this tomorrow before I do my next science lesson, all right? Let's have some more fun. Have a good evening.